Well, you talk to any coach over the summer, they will break down the upcoming year into three different seasons, non-conference, conference, and then the postseason. And that is where we are here this evening as the Defiance Bulldogs getting set for the second season, but they're playing for the right to wear the uniform one more time. A loss means you pack up the gear until next season. It is sectional play, Division Three Volleyball. Defiance 14 and eight overall, six and three in the WBL. Traveling to Bowling Green to take on Elida. Seven and 15 and three and six for the other Bulldogs that will be in the gym this evening. But the playoffs mean everybody is O and O. The Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show is underway. Brent Balbonat saying thank you for joining us on DC TV Sports. Going solo this evening as Scoop Miller is a little under the weather, but we will bring you the best coverage here this evening as the opening round, sectionals for Division Three, One of these two teams will be playing next Monday night against Bowling Green at Kaleida as Bowling Green knocked off uh, Shawnee earlier this evening in three straight sets. Well, we had a chance to stop out to a defiance practice yesterday afternoon. Team was loose but focused at the same time. I know that may sound like a contradiction in terms, but this group is ready to go. They knew that they let a couple get away from them, not the least of which in those uh, in that tough loss, 6-3 in conference play, was one to the team that they're playing this evening. Elida won in five sets. Now, granted, both coaches agree. Bree Brenner said that the Defiance arguably played their worst match of the season that night. On the flip side, for Lina and Tracy Sneary, she said they played their best match of the season. We'll wait and see if one of those two teams can duplicate it. The other would like to erase it and bring a higher level of play. As we take a look at the gymnasium here at Bowling Green, it is cozy, tight confines, and a lot of air conditioning duct work that drops down from the top of the ceiling. As a matter of fact, in the center of your screen right there, you get a look at two of those air conditioning ducts. Again, anything that hits the speakers, the ducts, even the support beams or girders is in play. You have to continue to play the ball as if it hadn't been hit by an obstruction. Could make for an interesting evening. Had a chance to sit down and talk with head coach Bree Brenner yesterday afternoon after practice. We have player profiles, plural, as they've got seven seniors on this year's roster. We're going to talk to two of them, Ella Westrick, the standout libero, and standout outside hitter Carly Hoffman, second and first team all-conference selections, and deservedly so. We'll get their take. But first, etiquette says the coach takes center stage. So what we're going to do is take a quick timeout. We'll talk with head coach Bree Brenner as the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues right after this. You're watching DCTV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com.
Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Welcome back to the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues on DCTV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac located on North Clinton Street in Defiance, earning everybody's trust one satisfied customer at a time. Check them out in person on the lot or online at drivebobestel.com. Well, it's commonly called the second season. The opening round of sectionals in Division Three volleyball sees Defiance 14 and 8 overall, 6 and 3 in conference play. Travel to BG to take on Elida, the other Bulldogs, 7 and 15, 3 and 6. But in the playoffs, Everybody is O and O. They call it a new season for a reason. Coach Brenner joining us right now. Coach, before we preview, let's recap. You okay with that? Sure. <laughs> so of course she is. I'm glad she's so agreeable. <laughs> Look, it's been almost a week since your season finale. You've had a little extra time. How have you used the last week to prepare for tonight? I think we've used it to rest a little bit. Um, we've had a long season, a lot of games. Uh, so just giving them time to just get back to basics, work on a few things, um, work on us, but mainly just take it down a notch. <laughs> More quality than quantity at this time of the year? Yeah, correct. Where would you say this team has improved the most since the start of the season? Well, I think it's been, an, again, an interesting season. We've had to mix and adjust a lot of things throughout the season. So I just think um, our offense, um, obviously, we're outside hitter heavy. I think we've been working really hard on getting production from our middle and right sides. Um, so I think that's something that's been pretty big that we've improved on. It's also not gone unnoticed. A couple of big postseason honors for a couple of your players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super excited for them. Now you can mention Carly and Ella by name if you want to. Okay. How proud of you are their performances this year? Super proud of them as they're sitting there staring at me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, they've done a great job. Um, obviously, two super, super important positions on the court. Um, we can trust them with anything we need, to, need them to do. So um, I'm just happy for them that all their hard work has been recognized by others. Vocal leaders, leaders by example, a little bit of both? I'd say a little bit of both. Carly might be a little more vocal at times, but Ella's been stepping up as well. Let's go ahead and focus on tonight's opponent. Elida, you're no stranger to him. As a matter of fact, it was a tough five-set loss earlier this year in conference play. Break that match down for us. I think uh, we came into it um, just not really ready to go, um, and that shows how we started the match. Um, and then I think the girls kind of realized, oh, they're ready, they're gunning for us, um, and it was kind of too late by that point. Um, we fought, we didn't lose by much, and I don't think we played that great overall. Sometimes you tip your clap cap to the opponent. Sometimes you look at yourself and say, you know what, we let one slip through our fingertips. Mm -hmm. What do you want to see different tonight in the rematch? Um, I think they're, again, they have all of the confidence in the world coming in. They beat us last time. However, uh, we know we're a much different team than what they saw. Uh, we're just better all around our serving, our offense. Um, we made a lot of mistakes that we don't typically make. And, I mean, I do credit them. They played well when we played them down in Elida, but I just think if we can do what we're supposed to do and play how we play, we should go in and take care of business. How much were you in system in that first match? Not very much. <laughs> what do you want to see tonight? What's the key to that? I'm probably guessing where you're going to head, but serve receive. First touch makes a world of difference most times. Yeah, I think for us, our serving is our strongest suit. We didn't serve well. Um, and then our serve receive wasn't terrible. I just think we weren't executing hitting wise. Um, we had some uncharacteristic errors, and then I think it got in our head and then created more errors. The senior class has represented not just the team, but the school really the community with great distinction. What have they meant to you as you watch them basically grow up in front of your eyes? Um, means a lot. So, I mean, I can't, they're, I'll get emotional, so I don't want to talk about it. No fiery speech needed here. <laughs> basically, you're playing for the right to put the uniform on one more time. And mm -hmm. when it's done, it is done. My guess is you don't need to, to basically rile up the competitive juice, they're ready to go. Yeah, I agree. They've put their heart and soul into volleyball since they were little kids. And so I just hope they can prove to everybody how good they are. Nothing left to do but serve this one up. Coach, we appreciate you giving us access to the program. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Coach Brenner, we're going to take a quick time out. We're back with more of the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show right after this on DCTV Sports. 
Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Welcome back. The Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues here on DCTV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac located on North Clinton Street serving thousands of customers, everyone satisfied one at a time. Check out their selection online as well on drivebobestel.com. All right, we are being joined by not just one, but two player profiles because they're so good that one just wouldn't do. Coach wanted to get a couple of the senior classes on, and why not? As we are being joined by Carly Hoffman. How are you today, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? Very low key. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. And I think I called you, what, a keg of dynamite? You are listed at 5'3 on the roster. Ella Westrick, is that correct? Yes. So we've got that established. What we also need to do is give kudos to these two. First team and second team, all WBL. As a matter of fact, let's start there. Senior year, and I know you guys would take wins over individual accolades any day of the week, but Carla, let's start with you. How much does it mean to be named first team all conference? I think it means a lot. Like I've worked hard all four years and just like see that other coaches have seen it, like it means a lot. Ella, how about you? I think it like really shows how we step into our positions and how we lead our team. All right, so we're getting ready for Elida. Before we preview, I want to rewind. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I want you both to go back to your freshman season. First time you set foot on the volleyball court. Do you remember who it was against? It was against Liberty Benton. How about you? Liberty Benton. And how did that go? Was the world moving 100 miles an hour or were you locked in? It was really fast, especially <laughs> since they were really good at the time. Like, obviously, they're still good, but, like, they were really good back then, and they just kind of, like, shoved me in there. So I wasn't really ready for it, but it was fine. You made do, though, right? Mm -hmm. Ella, how about you? I agree with her, but I think I, maybe I was a little more calm because on JV, like, it's not as fast-paced, but it was a lot of fun. Now, there is a phrase, the days are long, but the seasons are short. 
does four years ago seem like a long time ago or did it go by in the snap of a finger? It was so quick. Like it felt like yesterday that we were just freshmen and we were all together. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's my last year. I still feel like I have a bunch of years to come, but I don't. Now, that's part of your senior season, too, because everything can get sentimental. This is the last time I do this. This is the last time I do this with my teammates. Have you guys been able to keep that in check and focus on playing volleyball right now? I think we try to, but sometimes like we get stuck in the moment, but it's always in the back of our heads. I think we've done pretty good about it. I think at times we're very emotional, but sometimes for the majority, I think we keep it together. So coming into your senior season, what did coach tell you she wanted out of you? What was your role this year? She really wanted me to work on my defense and like serve receive in my back row game because she wanted me to be a six rotation outside. She really wanted me to talk more and step up as a leader. Talk more? I don't know. That seems, in watching her practice, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of energy, a lot of personality with these two. You guys feed off each other quite a bit? I, I would say so, yeah. Definitely. We got them to agree on something. That's fantastic. What skill set were you talking about or working on just here in practice? Another day to practice is another day to get better. What is this team trying to do better as you get ready for Elida? Uh, be more aggressive with just going after balls, I think. Working on our defense and picking up the tips like we don't normally mm -hmm. pick up. Like if you're not going to block, pull off and get the tip and just be ready to play defense. Now a lot of that comes with communication though too, yeah. correct? Yes. That's a simple one word answer. The term is student athlete. You got to crack a book to stay in the uniform. Nobody wants a dumb jock, right? Got to stay eligible. I've got a couple of brains here. What's the GPA for both of you? Uh, I have a 4.0. I also have a 4.0. So I teased them before we started the interview. Am I talking to a tie for class valedictorian? But you say yes and you say no, which is true. Um, I think we're both very smart, but we definitely got it. not. <laughs> yeah, Neither of us are close. If one's better I than mean, the other, I have to give it to her. <laughs> we're not. No. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, though, time management has got to be a priority for you. Mm -hmm. Classes, practice, I'm guessing a little bit of social life. Mm -hmm. What's a typical day for you? Um, I usually go home and talk to my family to make sure I'm keeping up with them and then I start working my homework. Yeah, I normally do my homework during school. Like I try to get most of it done, but I go home, I get done when I need to get done and I just hang out with either friends, like family or whatever. You two are both seniors. If I came back and did another interview with you in 10, 15 years, what's the dream job for both of you? What will you be doing? Um, hopefully, Ali will be a lawyer for a big corporation. But I'm going to go into nursing, so. Do either of you see yourself staying involved in sports, maybe volleyball, maybe coaching, even if it's just kids? Um, perhaps. I'm not sure. Okay. I would maybe coach, like, a little bit. That wouldn't be that bad. What do you want your legacy to be? I mean, you're two standout athletes, but you're involved in multiple things. What would you want somebody to say about you if I asked them 10 or 15 years? Um, that I was a good teammate or um, I had good attitudes towards everyone else. Yeah, I want them to like remember being, being a good leader, being good to everyone, helping people when they need help, and just like being a good teammate. We're not going to graduate you just yet. You still have your senior season to go. Is it fair to say the most important match now is the next one on the schedule, be Elida, and then you'll focus on next week? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Our player profiles, Carly and Ella. We're going to take a quick time out. We're back with more of the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show right after this. You're watching DCTV Sports. Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com.
Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. We welcome you back to Bowling Green as we are about five minutes away from second serve as Bowling Green knocked off their opponent. Again, it was uh, Lima Shawnee in the first match, so they will await the winner of this one. They will play Monday night. <coughs> it will be 7.30 at Kaleida. And the Bulldogs, Defiance specifically, hoping that they'll get a little payback against Kaleida tonight and advance to the next round. Time now for a look at your keys to the game, brought to you by Northwest Community College. Northwest Community College, your key to a great career starts at Northwest Community College. For the Defiance Bulldogs, again, serve, receive. They struggled in the first meeting between these two teams. Coach Brenner saying they need a good first touch to get their offense into system, which leads us to our next key and that's run in system at least 50% of the time. And that doesn't mean if you're out of system that your offense stops, but they know that they need to make a good first touch, get the ball to their setter, and minimal movement out of their position. And then, of course, the third one, get swings in the good zone within 10 feet of the net. Those are the keys to the game brought to you by, again, Northwest Community College. For Elida. Again, they need to serve strong. They were exceptionally strong. Matter of fact, one of their best, if not their best, uh, serving match of the season in that first meeting against Defiance. Extend points. Again, quick points. And this was something Coach Sneary was telling me. They feel if they run quick, that's going to be an advantage for Defiance. They want to make sure that they don't allow for quick terminations. And then again, contain Carly Hoffman, if that's possible. They're going to double team the right side or wherever, whichever pin Carly Hoffman is on. They're going to try and force someone else to beat them. Those are your keys to the game brought to you by Northwest Community College. Time now for a look at your starting lineups brought to you by Baker Schindler Company. Baker Schindler Company, over a century's worth of quality service in the Defiance area. First for Defiance, and there you see her, Carly Hoffman. First team, all WBL. 406 kills on the season. She serves at 93% with 37 aces. Ellie Stack will be in the middle. Isabella Rawlson at the opposite. She's got 280 kills, serving at nearly 90% on the season. Kiara Cohn has done a masterful job taking over from Megan Williams, and again, uh, our thoughts, our prayers, and certainly well wishes going out to Megan Williams. But Kiera Cohn stepping into a difficult situation, 429 assists on the season. She's serving at nearly 93%. Again, Ella Westrick, one of our player profiles. She is an alley cat everywhere on the court. 421 digs on the season. Chloe Seiler will expect to see some time on the right side as well. And then again, a defensive specialist, Piper Hampton with 194 digs on the season. Your starters for the Elida Bulldogs as follows. CeCe Reed in the middle, a 5'10 senior. Kayla Hunter, again, defensive specialist. Abby Doherty, a setter and defensive specialist, will also get uh, a starting nod. Again, she's going to come in uh, after the second rotation. Uh, Clara Grindel, Ava Free, 
Delaney Miller is just, again, another windmill in a tornado. 372 digs on the season for the libero. But again, Allison Sneary has been basically the motor that makes this Elida team run. 206 kills as the setter, 315 assists. She's serving at nearly 92% and 49 aces on the season. Those are your starting lineups brought to you by Baker Schindler Company. We're going to take a one-minute timeout, a one-minute break. When we come back, we will get set for first serve. Don't you go anywhere. You are watching the opening round of sectionals, Division Three style, Defiance and Elida on DCTV Sports. It's all part of the Bob Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show on DCTV. Discover great job skills training at Northwest State. With over 50 different programs available, there Discover great job skills training at Northwest State. With over 50 different programs available, there is something for everyone. Providing hands-on training and education is the community college advantage. Welcome back to Bowling Green High School Gymnasium. Brent Palpatine saying thank you for joining us as the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show is now in the books. It is time for first serve. Defiance getting set to take on Elida, a pair of Western Buckeye League opponents. They are not unfamiliar with each other as they have played each other once earlier this season. And Elida won in five sets. Defiance at 14 and eight overall, six and three in conference play entering tonight's matchup. Elida at 7 and 15, 3 and 6, respectively. But you hit the first round of the playoffs, and everybody is O and O. We've given you the keys to the game. We've given you the starting lineups. Public address is announcing both sets of rosters here. As the Defiance Bulldogs, led by head coach Bree Brenner, the Elida Bulldogs, led by head coach Tracy Sneary. Coach Sneary in her 11th season at the helm. Addison Sneary, you take a look at number 12. She's about to come into your living room there. As their setter, she also leads the team in kills. She is basically the motor, more than a jack of all trades. It'll be fun to watch her, but basically, as we've been told, as she goes, so goes Elida. <coughs> Defiance in their blue uniforms with the white lettering and numerals, with the white stripe and the black trim down the sides. Elida in their black uniforms with the orange lettering and numerals and the orange flare on the piping down the sides of the jersey tops. And the entire roster being announced. Isabella Rollison there and the tacket. <laughs> They've all got that Miss America wave down to both sides of the gym. <laughs> well wishes, pleasantries, and handshakes, but now it is time for first serve. Our officiating crew this evening, and they have a ton of experience. Take a look at this time of the year. You want the absolute best you can on the floor. And 
Jan Lehman will be on the floor here this evening. She was the tower official in the first match. She is being joined by Steve Spoon. And your lines people are Jamie Frederick and Gary Coghorn. 22 years, 15 years, 16 years, and 18 years respectively. The experience on the floor tonight for the officials. We are getting set for first whistle. Time to get it on. Winner advances to Monday night to play on the juggernaut Bowling Green Falcons. Loser will pack up the gear until next season. A little bit of a delay. Whistle sounds and we're finally getting after it here. Little deep, little wide. Defiance draws first blood. Kara Cohn to serve. And she's been more than effective this season at 93%, 17 aces. Hoffman with a nice dig. The dink over, laying out, tremendous job. We play on. They'll set. Good dig by Tilly Henderson. Now, we weren't sure if Tilly Henderson was going to play tonight. She has a mild injury, but you're potentially looking at a season end to your match. If you've got any competitive juice, you can tell the coach you want to be on the floor. Long run, dumped over by Cohn, will play on, joust at the net, Hoffman again. Nice dig out of the back row by Miller. Coming out of the back row, and this one into the net. Off the fists of Kayla Hunter. Three straight points off of Cohn's serve to open up the match. Nice job of zone serving, give her an ace, her 18th of the season. Bottom just fell out of that ball, and there wasn't much, if anything, Miller could do with it. That one clips the tape. Cross court. That's out of bounds. Make it five straight. Flipping the tape, give her another race. I don't want to say sometimes better to be lucky than good. And does Coach Sneary want a timeout? She does. Six straight points off the serve of Kiara Cohn to open up this match. And Defiance has looked strong. We're going to take a quick timeout. We are back right after this Mark Motes Ford timeout. Mark Motes Ford serving the area located. Well, check them out on markmotesford.com. We're back after this on DCTV Sports. Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Back at Bowling Green, a timeout after six straight points to open up the match. Now make it seven, and Kiara Cohn is firing on all pistons right now. First substitution coming out of that timeout. Avery McCarricker has checked into the ball game as that one is wide. And on the service error, finally a much needed side out for a light out. 7 1. And back to serve, Addison Sneary. She is the motor for this Elida squad. Good first touch. They'll run the slide play. 
Miller's there in the back row. Again, Miller, 372 digs on the season. This will sail wide. And Elida's service proves to be short-lived as Piper Hampton will check in, all five, three of her. She is a firecracker. Good low serve. Good first touch. Sneary will set to the far pin. Tremendous up by Hampton, though. Nice job out of the back row by Hunter. Westrick is there for Defiance. Moving towards the net. Hoffman sends this one long. Two. That one shanked, and we'll see if Hoffman can do anything with this one. She can! Right down central. Hunter a little late to react to it. Miller gave way. 9-2, as Westrick will do the honors now for Defiance. And her serve is a ritual. Nice jump serve, and sends it long. A little too amped up. Into the net, and right now Elida on their heels. Down 10-3. We'll have a substitution as Emma Tackett will check in. Puts a fist into it, and a service error. It's showing some frustration. Tilly Henderson back in for Elida. Doherty will take a seat on the bench. Henderson, 130 kills, a 98% server. They'll set Hoffman up in system. Cross court, she gets the termination. Rollison checking in for Hampton. And right now, it doesn't matter who's on the defiant side of the net, they can do no wrong. Up big, 11-4. Hoffman, good deep serve, and that just a bit long. Thought for a second it might have caught the line. 11-5. Ava Free puts a fist into it. Short serve, back setting. Nice dink sent over by Stack, and we got a violation. Double contact, Defiance will get the side out and the service. Eddie Holmeyer will put a fist into it. Coach Brenner substituting a ton here in the early going with her team up by seven. Very short serve, long run up by Henderson. And the block is there, just a bit long. Chloe Seiler thought she might have had one. Hoffman getting her platform out and will set near side to Rollison. Bumped up. Can they get something in system? Wester with a tremendous up. And that one's going to sail long off the fist of Rollison. Twelve seven. Elida trying to inch their way back into this one. Kayla Hunter with a good jump serve. Westrick. Dropping down to her knees. Rollison with the dink. Gets the termination. Cone to serve. That's deep, but Miller will play it. Sneary setting far pin. That's almost sailing out of the gym. Doherty just a little too amped up. Going back to serve after ripping off seven straight to open up the match. 
This will come out of the back row. Going with a long run, bumped up. Rollison again with the dink and the feathery touch. Westrick getting her platform out, looking good. And a block at the net. Elida with a much needed side out. Another serving at Hoffman trying to take her out. And again, she's got that down. Tremendous job by Isabella Rollison. That'll be her third dink for a termination here in the first set. It's Piper Hampton will check in for Rollison. Hampton, defensive specialist, but in to serve right now with her team having doubled up Elida in set number one, 16-8. Low serve, boy, that ran right up the platform of Hunter. And Defiance will get a free ball. In system, can they do something with it? Back set. The carrier tried to be feathery. Comb sets her up again this time. Wow, unloads at Sneary. Somehow she kept that alive, more so out of self-preservation. They'll set down the middle, and this one's long off the fist to Silent. Substitution as Ava Free will check back in for Elida. Miller will serve. That will be long. Stack back in for Defiance. Seiler heading to the bench, getting instruction from Coach Brenner. Westrick, where well, the bottom fell out of that. What a tremendous job to drop to her knees by Hunter. Who wants this one? <laughs> McCarrier. Miller lays out. Nice up. And on the dump, we'll play on. <laughs> well played. Doherty with determination. 17-10, Elida hanging around. They get the side out. Clara Grindel puts a fist into it. Hampton's there on the dump. Cone thought she might catch. Elida sleeping a bit. This time she's going to set near pin. Hoffman unloads. Miller's there and it hits the duck work. We play on, and this will go long. And we talked about it during the pregame. Again, the ductwork here that dips down a little bit maybe more so than some other gyms here at BG. You've got to play it. Doesn't matter what it hits in the rafters. 18-10. Tackett. Trying to get her team the first to 20. Long run for Sneary. And that ball just kind of floated down the net. And Hunter never really got a gauge on it. Tackett trying to go cross court. Miller is there. They'll set near pin. Hampton. Defiance in system. Hoffman with the dink. And I think we're going to have a net violation here on Elida. Yep, they're going to say double contact. Either way, it's a freebie. And Defiance has now doubled up Elida. The first to that all-important 20-point mark. Now become a five-point first set. Tackett trying to serve it out. Give her an ace. A Premier Bank ace. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. YourPremierBank.com. Another good low serve, Miller. This is playable. Dinked over by Hunter, but defiance in system. Combo play, and that's on the line. Wow. Almost a glorified two-handed set by Hoffman, but you take a look at a future college-level talent. That was a decision. I don't want to say mid-swing.
Tackett, good low serve. She's on right now. This will come out of the back row, and it's a free ball. Comb sets, combo play. Runs right up the platform of Grindel, but will play on. Trying to keep it alive. Tackett tried to lower her level. Couldn't quite get underneath it. 22-11. Anderson will check in. Anderson, again, an excellent server at 98%. Cone with a little bit of a run. That one pushed to the back corner, and it gets down. Ellie Stack. Rollison checks in. Hampton out. Two points from taking set number one. Defiance. We'll see Carly Hoffman go back to serve. Going deep. Sneary. This is going to have to come out of the back row. And well played by Anderson. Elida stays alive. Ava Free will try to extend the first set. Deep serve. Tackett's there. They'll set near pin. Dinked over and miscommunication. You had a pair of Elida players afraid they might collide with each other. Kayla Hunter barely got her fingers on it. And we have come to the Stambaugh Jewelers set point. Twelve of them to be specific. Katie Homeyer, service error. And she's not happy with herself, biting her lower lip. You'll get another opportunity, kid. Stack will check out. Westrick in. Along with Siler. Hunter. Deep serve. Defiance will get something in system here. Push down, but Miller's there. Sneary will set to the back row. Goes at Hoffman. Here we go again, this time unloading. Rollison didn't quite get her timing down. Another back row attack here for Elida. The back set. Miller from her knees. Joust at the net. Seiler couldn't quite put it away. Elida hanging tough. A couple points in a row, but still down big, 24-14. Helm sets up. Far side, Hunter gets her platform out. Nothing Sneary can do, and this will be a free ball for the Bulldogs. They won't even need it. 25-14. Defiance comes out strong. They open up the match off of seven straight points off of Kira Cohn's serve, and they take the first set convincingly. We will take a Mark Motes Ford timeout, serving the Defiance community since 1916, located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at Mark Motes Ford. Com. We'll back after this. You're watching DCTV Sports. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding. 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. The Strady Center for the Arts. Entertainment on a whole new level. The Strady Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org. 
Back at Bowling Green High School, Defiance in command in set number one as they knock off Elida 25 to 14. So we've got the opening round of sectionals, Division Three style. The winner will advance to Monday night at Kaleida as they will play Bowling Green, who knocked off uh, Lima Shawnee in match number one tonight. Still got to keep it up. Defiance, as you can see right there, looking fairly loose as El Stack will actually come out and Ella Westrick will check in to open up set number two. So it will be McCarrier, Seiler, Rollison, Westrick, Hoffman, and Cone for Defiance to start set number two. For Elida, the motor miss everything. Addison Sneary will serve to open things up. She'll be joined by Hunter Miller. Uh, is Reed in the middle? Yes, CC Reed. And that service ace brought to you by Premier Bank to open up set number two for Elida. Looking out there, I do see Tilly Henderson as well being joined by Clara Grindel. Those are your Elida six. Long run for Cone, and this will be a free ball. Almost a collision. Henderson. Ooh, that ball shanks off of Westrick. Hoffman with a long run. And Elida looks out. They get a free ball. Sneary sets down the middle. Not much on it. Rollison unloads. Sends it long. Is that out of bounds off the block? All right. So Defiance gets a good break. And the side out as Piper Hampton will check in for Rollison. A little spitfire, number two. 5'3", senior, back to serve. Whew, unloads. It's going to be a long run for Sneary. And trick or treat, their libero Delaney Miller having to run the offense out of the back row. And yet, Defiance couldn't do anything with it. Sneary on the dump. Cone sets McCarrier far side, inside out. McCarrier with the termination. Two on. Piper Hampton says, give me the ball, please. Another good low serve. Miller, good first touch. He'll set Henderson. Oh, what an up by Hampton. Ball kept alive as it hits some advertising in the rafters. This will come out of the back row. Now something in system. Hoffman off the block. Nice job to lay out by Hunter. Henderson off the block, but Hampton's there in the back row again. Hoffman unloads. Anderson with a long run, the dink. And that'll do it for Elida. Best rally of the night so far. Ties us up at two apiece. Good low serve, Westrick. Nice job to lower her level. McCarrier goes cross court, Sneary. She laid out, but couldn't do anything with it. Stack will check in for Siler for Defiance. Westrick, 421 digs, 51 aces on the season. Second team, all WBL. Almost picked up an ace there. Unorthodox, but she keeps this point alive. Stack gets stuffed. Hoffman saves it. Sneary on the dump, tried to go deep. Wow. Normally you think of those as being softly placed, but she put some power behind that one, going to the back row. Henderson to serve. Cone back sets to McCarrier. Pushes that ball up the far side. Well placed. Here comes Tackett. Emma Tackett, five foot senior. Puts a fist into it. This ball hits the air conditioning duct and it completely, what's a good word for it, took the rhythm of the play away. Defiance leading 5 3. 
Clips the tape. Sneary had a long run. This will come out of the back row and it's long. Defiance took set one, 25-14. They have doubled up Elida here in set two. Tackett trying to keep the run going. Nasty serve. Hunter, miss hits. This will come out of the back row. Westrick again off the air conditioning duct. Can Defiance do anything with this one? They'll set Hoffman. Yes, they can. Seven three. Defiance finding its rhythm off of Tackett's serve. She gets the whistle. Another good low serve, and there is a Premier Bank ace. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient options. Yourpremierbank.com. Tackett finding her rhythm. Another good low serve. Good first touch, and wow, Sneary absolutely sold that. Tremendous job. Well, as the setter, 315 assists, but also 206 kills coming into tonight. Many of them most likely of that variety. Hoffman moving towards the net. That's when Defiance's offense is at its best. Good low serve, and we'll call that an ace for Carly Hoffman. <laughs> Defiance more and more getting their offense running into that good ball area, as Coach Brenner refers to it within the 10-foot mark. And just as I say that, quick side out. There you get a good look. Back to serve. Ava Free. Westrick comes up on this one. They'll back set to stack. Termination. And after a slow start to the second set, Defiance now starting to fire on all cylinders. Holmeyer. We'll try it again. A little deeper. Good first touch. And just a complete miss hit by CeCe Reed. Twelve five, Homeyer goes deep again. Reed sends over an easy one. They'll set Rollison out of bounds off the block. Three straight here for Homeyer and Defiance, and Coach Sneary wants a timeout. We'll take a thirty-second variety, a Mark Motes Ford timeout. Located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotes4.com. Up one set to nothing. Up 13 to 5 in second set. Defiance leading. Elida back after this on DCTV Sports. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today. County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotes4.com. Back at Bowling Green High School, buzzer sound, set number two. Defiance up one set to nothing and up in set number two, 13 to five over Elida. Holmeyer back to serve. She's on a three-point run. Bottom fell out of that one. Sneary on the dump. Tackett is there. They'll set Rollison. Oh, well played. Turning her shoulders at the last second. She had the block thinking she was going to go cross court. Instead, she kept it down the near line. Well done. 
14-5, make it four straight. Let me take a look at the next opponent for either one of these teams. It's going to be Bowling Green. They're scouting here tonight. Rollison. That's just power. And it brings the Defiance fans to life. Six straight off a Holmeyer serve. And that's going to sail on. Still, nice job by Kate Holmeyer. And Defiance now in control here in set number two, 15 to six as Westrick will check back in. Low serve from Hunter. Running a slide play, Rollison. Sneary will set far pin. Anderson has this one go into the stands off the Defiance block. Owner puts a fist into it again. Westrick. Put away cross court. What an angle. Tremendous cut shot. McCarrier in for Tackett. Cone back to serve. And a service error. Grindel checking in for Lina. She will spell Doherty. Sneary back to put a fist into it. Good serve. She goes at Hoffman. They'll set Rollison near pin. Play on right in front of the scorer's table. Uh-oh. Who wants this one? Rollison trying to make something out of it. Now getting back into system. Rollison unloads here across court. Hunter keeps it alive. Sneary will set Henderson. Both clubs just beating on each other right now. Siler taps it over. Henderson into the net. Piper Hampton will check in. Rollison will take a seat on the bench. All smiles, understandably so. Up 17-8. Hampton, bullet serve. Out of the back row, Westrick is there. McCarrier, well placed. Henderson can't do much with this. Again, Cohn almost took herself out of the play, and we have a carry. Nope, double contact. So point, defiance. Up by 10. Another good bullet serve, and technically, yeah, we'll give her an ace. That was a late decision by Hunter to play the ball. Got caught in no man's land. Piper Hampton. Sly smile as Westrick comes over, tells her to keep it up. Going deep again, beautifully placed. And the block couldn't quite handle that one for Defiance. So the run ends after three straight. Off of Piper Hampton serve. Score is 19-9 though. As Delaney Miller puts a fist into it. A carrier far pin. Give her the termination. The stack will check in for Sila. Twenty to nine. Can Westrick serve this one out? Sneary has a long way to run. We have a net violation. Henderson is not one hundred percent playing injured. Coach Sneary told me they weren't sure how much they'd be able to get out of her tonight, but she is on the court. Bump this up. Not in system. Hunter couldn't do much with that. So side out. Now we'll see if Tackett can serve out. 
set number two. Clips the tape, and <laughs> why not? A Premier Bank ace. Got another one losing you, kid? Three points away from making it a commanding two sets to nothing lead. Boy, the bottom fell out of that. Sneary saves it. Hoffman, give her the termination. Two points away. Attack it. Staying cool. Another good low serve. Sneary tries to dump. This time Defiance has it played well. Boy, dumped over. Both setters putting on a dump clinic right now. Hoffman, that got down and it was off the block. It was Defiance's point either way. And we've come to set point. Dackett trying for four straight and a convincing two sets to nothing lead. Dackett goes deep and just long. Still remains set point. No margin for error for Elida. That's Doherty in to serve. Doherty, seeing a little extra time, trying to spell Henderson a bit. Hoffman. There it is. Give her the kill and give Defiance set number two, 25-11. We'll take a Mark Motes Ford timeout, serving the Defiance community since 1916. Mark Motes Ford on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at Mark Motes Ford. Dot com. Defiance in command. Two cents to nothing. We'll see if they can sweep it in three or if Elida can stretch this one out. You're watching DC TV Sport. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Discover great job skills training at Northwest State. With over 50 different programs available, there is something for everyone. Providing hands-on training and education is the community college advantage. Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Set number three, Bowling Green High School. Just uh, having a little bit of a chat with Bowling Green coach Deb Mathias as her Falcons knocked off Lima Shawnee. Bobcats, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Falcons are across town. Absolutely. Excuse me. The Bobcats. I, look, when you work in the MAC and then you work in the NLL, you know, sometimes that, that cross-reference does get to you. But just the same, they knocked off Lima Shawnee earlier tonight. And they will take on the winner of this one. And right now, unless Elida has got something in them, Defiance is looking to close this one out in straight sets. Cohn with a service ace to open up set number three, and why not? She rattled off seven to begin the match. 
put Elida on their heels. They never were able to come out from underneath it. And unfortunately here, this one goes into the net for a service error. Sneary spins the ball in her hand. All right, at Hoffman. Takes out the big outside hitter, Rollison. Uh oh, who's going to catch this one? Almost a net violation. Rollison with the dink. Hunter out of the back row. Cone, back sets, McCarrier. <laughs> Avery McCarrier, 5'7", senior. Looking sharp tonight. Speaking of sharp, Piper Hampton back to serve. Sneary sets Henderson in the middle, and you can just tell Henderson doesn't have her vertical tonight. She is not getting off the floor the way she normally would. Back set to the near pin, cross court. Well, they just took their setter out of this one. Did Hoffman do anything? In? Wow, unloads. Sneary sets Henderson. Hampton's there. Now the offense they want to run. Sneary back sets. Near pin. Grindel almost put it away. McCarrier. Who wants this one? Hoffman running towards it. Will go cross court. Sneary sets to the back row. And again, taking Cone out of the play. McCarrier unloads. Grindel keeps it alive. Henderson. Oh, what an up by Westrick. Hoffman. Basically with her left fist. Block is there by Seiler. Longest rally of the night. Who's going to get the better of who? McCarrier. That one, that will be an extra hit. That will be four. That never crossed the tape. And a light up. All of that to go up 3-2. But a little wind in their sails. Laney Miller to serve. It clips the tape. Nothing Westbrook can do about that. <laughs> Miller. Oh, if that had gone, that would have been Christmas early for Delaney Miller. But instead, it comes back. Service error, and Westrick will do the honors for Defiance. Good deep serve. Setting the middle and nice block by Stack. Oh, wait a minute, who's point here? It's out of bounds, off the block. Defiance point, that's what the officials are signaling. And Coach Sneary wants clarification. She's saying go talk to the tower official here. Wanting clarification. Now the linesman going to come over, and they're going to reverse the call. So a quick combo. Cross court, Sneary will keep it up. Off the tape. Hoffman moving towards the net. Miller with a bump. Hoffman, better look. Yeah, and the block couldn't handle this one. Carly Hoffman with the kill. up by Westrick. Westrick lays out this time, but couldn't get it. Up 
Doherty with a good deep serve. Tackett backing up. This will come out of the back row and miss hit by Stack. Another deep serve. Tackett's there in system. Stack this time trying to place it. Sneary will set back row. Hoffman unloads. Boy, that rolled right up Henderson's platform, and nothing she could do about that. Piper Hampton will check out. Rollison checks back in for Defiance. We're tied at six. Hoffman. 93% server. 37 aces on the season coming into tonight. Combe sets up. This will be out of bounds off the block. Give Rollison. Another kill. From her knees. We're going to set Hunter far side. This is going to be a long run for Westrick. She tracks it down. Can Hoffman save it? She does. We'll play on. Hoffman again dives. Rollison. Oh, well played. Sheer hustle. Wins defiance the point. A lot of thought they had that not once, but twice. Two point lead as Hoffman serves deep. Sneary will set back row again. Everson clips the tape. Cohn serves Rollison. Cross court. Termination. And goes deep. Well, that's going to be tough and well played by Sneary. Realizing that they probably wouldn't have had an opportunity. They were completely out of system and she gets the dump. Nine seven. Ava free. High arcing serve. Cohn sets Rollison with the feathery touch. Siler will check in. Westrick will check out. Stack will take his seat. Holmeyer back to serve. Defiance trying to close this one out in three. They're up two sets to nothing. Sneary back sets. Cross court. Just a tough angle for Kayla Hunter. Neary sets Reed far pin. And this is going to be a joust at the net. Well done by Cohn. Cross court. Well, that was just unloaded on and a great track down. I believe it was Holmeyer. Sneary sets far pin. Holmeyer's there. Cohn. Well, this is back off the net a little bit, but still well struck. Defiance with a free ball. Rollison and mistimed that one. Well, it was back off the 10 foot line. It was moving towards the stands and just too tough to play. It's 11 to 3. Pardon me, 11 to 8, excuse me, a three point lead. Hunter trying to dig into the deficit. Rollison with a tough angle. Great up, but this is coming into the stands. Does anybody want it? It's actually going to roll down the steps. That will send Kira Cohn back to serve. And it's in, oh wow. Would you like to have that kind of oil in your joints? Isabella Rollison leaning way back on her knees. Tipped over. Cone with the dump. All right, Defiance gets a freebie. Back sets. McCarrier dinked over. This will be a free ball by Miller out of the back row. 
Robinson unloads. So Hunter, fantastic up. Henderson, is that down? Yes, it is. Sneary back to serve, miss everything. I don't know if we have a stat box that we can run on her, but basically the leader on this team in multiple categories. Rollison blocks there, will play on. Wow, she's got that angle down. Bella Rollison, well played. Piper Hampton. A long way to run for Sneary. Oh, wow, and something out of nothing by Kayla Hunter. <coughs> Miller will serve. Dig leader on the team. Elida hanging around here in this third set. They aren't going quietly. And this one sails long. Ella Westrick, 86% server, but 51 aces on the season. And a nice up there. Combo play, Hoffman dinks it over. Anderson, but Hampton. Cohn almost got it over Sneary, that's difficult. Hoffman, or Miller's there, this one's bouncing around in the ceiling, and again, the Raptors, an extra teammate this time for Defiance. Defiance's largest lead here of the third set. Up by four. Going for the sweep. Westrick comes near side to Henderson. Sneary. Oh, wow. Westrick laying out. Hoffman with her left hand. Dumped over by Sneary. Hampton and Westrick almost collide with each other. Four smile between the two of them. Anderson high looping serve. Tough first touch by Westrick. Hoffman tries to go cross court. Cohn with the dump. Wow, what a great rundown by Miller. Again, they serve, or pardon me, go at the setter, and that's going to go long. Cohn was taken out of the play. Fifteen, thirteen. Alida keeping it interesting here in the third. A carry with a long run and somehow puts it away. Dag it back to serve. Had a three-point run off her serve back in set number two. We'll put a fist into it with her squad up by three. That one's coming our way. And is Coach Sneary going to call a timeout? I believe she is. We'll take a Mark Motes Ford timeout, serving the Defiance community since 1916. Located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Back after this on DCTV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com.
Buzzer sounds at Bowling Green. Defiance up by four, 17-13, two sets to nothing. Emma Tackett. Got a service ace before Coach Tracy Sneary called timeout for Lida. This one's going to be deep. Oh, that was miss hit. Sometimes, though, better to be lucky than good. But Carly Hoffman says, I am good. Give her the kill. Tackett waits for the whistle. Deep serve, Miller backtracking. Sneary had to bump it up, but Hampton's there in the back row. Hoffman again with the termination. Three straight off the serve of Emma Tackett. Defiance beginning to sniff it, a three sets to nothing victory. A oh, wicked serve, bottom fell out of it. Hunter moving towards the net. Hampton with a tremendous dig. Sneary with the dump. That's just long. Right idea, but she really had to put something behind it. Four straight off of Emma Tackett's serve. It's now become a five-point set, potentially a five-point match, and a rare service error for Emma Tackett. I do not believe in the broadcaster's jinx. Just so everyone knows. I've had the conversation with multiple coaches and players. 20 to 14. Doherty. High deep arcing serve. Cohen sets Hoffman. Oh, Miller, tremendous layout. Cohen, it's time. Sets stack. Hunter unloads. And Cohn tried the dink there, but couldn't get it. 2015. Now all of a sudden, you look up at the board, and Elida crawling back into this one. Doherty short serve. Defiance will send over a free ball. Sneary will try the dump, and even with the block there, it went right through the fingertips. Couldn't tell if Stack or Hoffman caught a piece of it. And a mini run here for Elida to pull back to within four. Comb sets Hoffman. Wow! Lightning quick. Oh, man. Carly Hoffman allows herself a quick smile. She had a scowl on her face there. And like the shark sniffing blood, see if she can serve out the final four points of this match. Sneer with a long run, and nothing they can do with this. And yet at the same time, oh my goodness. Well, as unorthodox as you're going to see, but it counts just the same on the board. And Coach Sneary wants a timeout. 22-16. We will keep it here to let you know coming up tomorrow night, we will be at Bettisville as Ayersville will be taking on North Central. We anticipate again a 7 o'clock pregame with a 7.30 first serve. Tenora also in action. I believe they're at Defiance. But we will have, barring... A miracle comeback that no one could have foreseen. Defiance and Bowling Green at Kaleida, of all places, on Monday. Yeah. Check your map, mapquest.com. We joke that it's not in the middle of nowhere, but it is right across the road from it. So, 22-16, Defiance trying to finish out set number three. And Carly Hoffman with two straight. Two more, and it's a three sets to nothing sweep. Oh, and look at this. Kendall Nolan, a senior defensive specialist, is going to be allowed to come into the game for Tackett. And you heard the Defiance fans air their appreciation. 
as that's going to be a Premier Bank ace by Carly Hoffman. Three straight, looking for a fourth and with it, the match. As we have hit the Stambaugh Jewelers match point. Miller will send over a free ball. Robinson unloads, she missed hit, and we're going to have a net violation. Almost, but you could hear the entire Defiance bench explode when Kendall Nolan got a bump. Remains seven set points. Rollison will try and finish here. Out of bounds off the block, and that will do it. 25-14, 25-11, and in set number three, 25-17. Defiance with a straight set sweep and with it advancing to the next round of the postseason as they will take on the Bowling Green Bobcats Monday night, 7.30 at Kaleida. And we will have it for you on DC TV Sports. What we're also going to have for you after this Mark Motes Ford timeout is our Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center post game show. Don't you go anywhere. We're back with more right after this on DC TV Sports. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding. 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. The Strady Center for the Arts. Entertainment on a whole new level. The Strady Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at midwestcommunity.org. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Well, the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show is now underway. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, protect your eyes. For a long life of clear vision, Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, your family's vision source, stadium drive in defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Aren't we just all kind of just, this has got to be the most chill post game I think we've ever done. We're just kicking back in the stands, everybody right now. Matter of fact, let's start with what a great representation by the Defiance fans to make the drive over here. I know it's probably about 45 minutes or so, but how much did that mean to you guys to have all of that Bulldog faithful in the stands? Right. I thought it was awesome. We were saying before the game started, we couldn't believe like it was like a sea of blue over there. So <laughs> we travel well, and we, we're very thankful. Well, and most of them are probably yours, right? You have your own <laughs> fan base? Yeah, I had a little fan base, but um, <laughs> I just feel like it brings us like good energy and like helps us win and like gives us motivation to keep doing good. Introductions, proper introductions, my fault for not doing so. <laughs> As the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show gets underway, I am Brent Balbinot, Coach Brenner joining us, and Isabella Rollison, all smiles. And there it is. I was going to say, you have just kind of a looseness about you. But as I talked with Coach yesterday at practice, she said you guys also know when to lock in and get focused. Yeah. How are you able to treat the moment the way it needs to be in any given situation? Um, 
well, my teammates help me a lot. Just like get like my focus on. Like they know like when I'm being goofy and like when it's like time to like lock in. So well, I also I've know, seen like, the, the goofiness. Level. I yeah. saw the dancing in yes. practice yesterday. <laughs> Big dancer. Are, are you the best dancer on the roster? Um, probably. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> coach. He's not gonna like that. Me, me and Chloe are. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> so next post game, coach, we gotta have Chloe up to rebut potentially then, right? So. Okay. Yeah. Fi fine with that. In all honesty, let's start. Rewind back to the opening first set. Uh, again, I'm looking down here. I had Kiera for seven straight points off of her serve. She had Elida on their heels, and they never were able to really dig themselves out of that first set. Can you just talk about how important that was to set the tone? It's always important. Um, that's why we like we know we're a good serving team, so when we can start the match with the ball in our hands, um, that's how we can kind of get things rolling. Uh, I mean, we talked yesterday, too, just about how our serve and serve receive game was not good last time we played them, and that was something we were focusing on. Um, and I thought we did start a little slow here and there outside of Kira. Um, we missed some serves, um, but then once the girls got comfortable with the court, they just they started serving tough. I'm going to actually expand on that a little bit because Kira stepped in in a tough situation. But I watch her body language. I watch, and you can see who wears their heart on their sleeve on this team. But Kira seems to be kind of low key, kind of measured, or is it just around me? It, what, what type of personality does she bring? She's super goofy one-on-one <laughs> -on -one or in small, but when it comes up to practice and the court, she's usually pretty even keel. And it showed here tonight, when I watched her go on that run, some players might get amped up and all of a sudden maybe send a few sailing, and she just looked like she exploded. It. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, and I feel like since she was little, serving's been something, it's been her strong suit, something she's always been good at, so I feel like she feels comfortable in that scenario. Let's switch to serve-receive, because that was one of the things you talked about during your pregame interview tonight, first touch, especially in that first meeting with Elida. You said, I asked you, how often were you in system? I can't remember your answer, but it wasn't much. Much better in the rematch here tonight? Yeah, I thought we did a much better job controlling the ball uh, first contact. I mean, whether it was service, receive, even defensively, we did a much better job. Isabel, I'll ask you the same thing because it looked like you guys were working pin to pin mm -hmm. and it didn't seem to matter who the play was called for. Everybody was kind of clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, I just feel like we talked at practice and we were like, we have to play together as a team and like we know what we did. We worked all week on it. So I feel like we came together as a team, did what we were supposed to do and just came out and won. What's your favorite part of the offense when you're clicking, especially, you know, if you've got the call? <laughs> now, coach is laughing. You're smirking. <laughs> is there an answer here that I don't know about? I just, like, I know when it's coming to me, and I know, like, to put it down. And, like, I know when it's coming in just to. Now, you weren't just the hammer tonight. You got a little cute and had some really <laughs> tough angles. I mean, you cut some shots almost at a 90-degree angle. How many of those were alterations mid-swing, and how many of those were maybe pre-planned up here before you actually went and headed most of the time it. i know like where i'm going but i like to check them a little bit so sometimes it's like mid-swing i'll go there but then other times like i know where i'm going so right how there. tough is it now granted some of those almost look like two-handed sets but yeah. with that you've also got to deep the block out walk us through the key to making sure the block doesn't know where you're headed most of the time you just want to like stay deep and then like once you're going up just like know where the block is and like you'll see like once in a while but then you go up and then just like keep going there and avoid like their hand or you can use your hand to go off into it. Coach, I was watching her though. From the waist down, she was going in one direction. From the waist up, she was going in a different direction. How tough is that? Is that something you can teach an athlete or they just have to have that ability? Uh, I think that's a little bit of Bella in general. Um, it's the dancer, right? It's the some, dancer. Sometimes, sometimes her limbs get a little crazy, uh, <laughs> which makes it hard to read. But um, she's always been really good with moving the ball around and I think, you know, I want her to start terminating when it's there to terminate, and obviously she did a good job of, with that tonight. We don't have specific numbers. I did keep a, uh, an unofficial track of some of the service runs. Uh, Tackett came in in that third set and rolled off four straight. Hoffman rolls off four straight mm -hmm. to win it. We talked about service, but at the same time, I'm thinking that back roll with Westrick and, uh, and Piper, uh, mm -hmm. for that matter, too. How many points did they keep alive this evening? You could see the body language in a light of thinking, okay, we've got the point one once. We've got the point one a second time. No, you didn't. You had a couple of alley cats in the back mm -hmm. row tonight that just seemingly kind of took the fire out of a light. Can you just talk about the benefit of extending the points tonight? Yeah, that's usually a typical defiance volleyball, but the last time, like I said, the last time we played, we were not focused. Um, we were not 
scrappy. And I think we came into it knowing their setter likes to move the ball around and dump. You have to be on it every single point um, or she'll get she'll start going on a run and I do want to give some credit to Emma Tackett with mm-hmm. her serve she's been working really hard she's kind of been in a little bit of a funk recently um, and so she's been really focused at practice and really working hard on her serve and so that showed tonight had it going tonight as did most of her teammates Isabel I'm going to ask you this question one wasn't the goal right you've earned the right to wear that uniform one more time it's going to come next week what's the mindset of this team right now? Um, I feel like we just got to go in and keep playing together as a team and just working towards like every day at practice, doing what we need to do, watch film on them, like know what we have to do and just keep pushing hard, knowing that the seniors, like this is like their last season. So just keep pushing towards them and play together as a team. Coach, how do you handle the next, what, 48 to 72 hours? Because the turnaround is much quicker now than it has been over the last week. The scout is there. You obviously had a chance to see Bowling mm-hmm. Green, but walk us through what practice is going to be like over the next two to three days. I think since we would play next Tuesday, so tomorrow we just are going to come in, kind of get some reps. Again, we just played a match, so we want to give the girls a little bit of a a time to recoup, especially those that have jumped a lot. Um, So we like to do some ball control, um, just and then get some girls some reps that maybe didn't get a ton tonight. And then we just amp it up as we get closer to the game, give us time to do our scouting report, um, and then we want to practice that so we can execute next week. So 24 hours, save the legs, and then get back into it in overdrive? Yeah. Does that mean no dancing, too? (laughs) No, Um, she can dance. Yeah, yeah, I can dance. (laughs) <laughs> just just slow low dancing, yeah, low, impact low impact dancing. dancing. Fantastic. <laughs> They're going to enjoy that bus ride home and then get ready for Bowling Green. We will be there at Collider next week. Congratulations to Thanks. both of you. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to take a quick time out. We are back with more of the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show. Don't you go anywhere. You're watching DCTV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, Stadium Drive in Defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Back at Broling, Broling Green, absolutely. It is Bowling Green. It's the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center post-game show. Try saying that ten times fast. What we can say ten times fast, over and over and over again. Defiance M3 over Elida by a final of 25-14, 25-11, and 25-17. They have earned the rights to put the jersey on again next week as they will play at Kaleida. They'll take on the Bowling Green Bobcats. We've got one last piece of unfinished business to take care of. Time for our player of the game, brought to you by BSN Sports. Tonight's player of the game will receive a DC TV Sports player of the game t-shirt, courtesy of BSN Sports. BSN Sports, the office apparel provider of DC TV Sports. We could go in a lot of different ways. We just heard from Coach about the tremendous serving 
by uh, a number of different players. As a matter of fact, to start off the match, uh, Kiara Cohn went seven straight. Emma Tackett rolled off four straight in that third set. Carly Hoffman rolled off four straight to finish out the match in three. Uh, we don't have official stats yet, but she had to have been in double digits with kills. And we're going to go with the junior, Isabella Rollison. So congratulations going out to Bell. Uh, she is tonight's BSM player of the game. That is going to do it for our broadcast here this evening. Coming up, our next broadcast will be tomorrow night. And there you can see it right there. It will be at Pittsville as Ayersville will take on North Central. We anticipate a 7 o'clock pregame with a 7.30 first serve. We hope that you will join us. For our entire crew doing a tremendous job this evening, a big thank you going out to our underwriters for helping make the broadcast a possibility, and you, the fan, for tuning in. I'm Brent Balbinot saying thanks for joining us. Final score tonight in three. Defiance knocks off Elida 25-14, 25-11, and 25-17. You've been watching a presentation of DCTV Sports.